Devin here and Kenny at OBS Solutions. I've got the red truck here. I want to give you guys an update about. Oh, I can't. Kenny will let me update you about this red truck we're doing. I got a two-tone truck over there that I'd love to update you on, but I can't do that either. He won't let me show that. I can't show you though the little blue Lisa truck. We're just doing some maintenance on it, nothing special. But come over this way. I'll, I'll show you something else. We're kind of working on uh, our little shop truck. I'm gonna say it's phase one of phase twelve or whatever. This way, Kenny. Right over here. We have our shop truck. So we've done some like minor tweaking with this. We got this a while ago from our buddy Sean Roth. We actually owned it like twice already. Anyway, we got it from him. So sent the bumper off, the grill off, the headlight bezels, kind of color matched everything. Got a set of headlights uh, from our boys at CP Attic and taillights. I'll show you that. We're installing a C-notch, which it wasn't done. Then we'll go to the interior, Kenny. Walk around over here. So this is an XL truck, and we thought we'd take an XL truck and make it cool. And this guy, we had a really derpy front bench seat. We got rid of that. We had an awesome set of 402040s that we had upstairs. We cleaned them up. Uh, the vinyl was in great shape, so Oscar went through and cleaned everything up. He's pretty much a savage when it comes to that. We had a dash pad that was in great shape. We put that guy on. It already has a killer stereo system, thanks to our buddy Sean. What kind of powertrains this beast got? Oh, it's got a badass straight six, all right? It's fast for just a minute. How, but many, how many miles are on it? 300 and some odd K. It's like a lot. But we have plans for this truck. We have a powertrain plan, but it probably won't happen this year. We just want to clean this thing up. We need to pressure wash the frame. Now, what, what's cool about this truck is it's got a Ford Explorer 8.8. It's a narrow little guy, which is cool because it allows us to run a tire this wide in the rear and tuck it up underneath there which is pretty cool sorry there you go kenny is that better we don't know if we're gonna stick with this wheel tire combo thing i think it needs a dark wheel i'm not quite sure yet we'll figure that out might burn a friendship or two by doing that sorry sean so we'll finish up the c notch get that installed put the bed back on it uh, the attraction to this truck is how clean the sheet metal was. When I first got this about two years ago, I couldn't just get over how it, it had a canopy on it its whole life. It had a plastic bed uh, mat in it, and it never got used. So let's, I think it's just a truck we can't turn loose. Let's talk about the bed, because that's pretty cool. Bed is amazing shape. Is oh, maybe we're looking for a grill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll have it for sale. So wanna... message us if you want a grill that's painted this color. I don't know if you have that. But the bed is immaculate. That's and a like, 300,000 mile pickup here in the Northwest. Right. That's probably never hauled anything. But exactly. So, just insane. When we found it, we found it in a junkyard. So for people out there, XL trucks like, oh, it's an XL truck. Well, we kind of want to take an XL truck and make it cool. This is our way of doing it. Kenny and I are like, dude, we can make this pretty rad. I think... Something gnarly, a 351, you know, aluminum heads, a Holley fuel injection system on it, something like that. I keep it a manual. We'll we don't know yet, so we're kind of just going over that. The rear end is should hold up to it, so we kind of like everything's going on. It's got a seven inch. It's seven inches low in the rear and five in the front, so it sits nice and low. I think it needs a 20. We'll kind of go from there, though. We'll see. That's about it. Still got.